represents a turning point in the study of personality, especially in the psychoanalytical uh, research, because he carried Freudian depth psychology from the clinic to academic institutions and to, you know, more into research. And uh, he developed a very clear shape of uh, the study of personality and research in that regard. And uh, he, uh, this, this is something very peculiar to his theory, that Kadaya Kali Maliki was he talked about the motivational backdrop to personality. That he talks about intention and motives. That if I behave in a certain manner, then it is somewhere linked to my needs and to my motives. So he has given almost a taxonomy of needs, a list of different needs which will be essential to study the personality of an individual. So that is very you know different in this theory. Now since we call this theory a personology. Uh, that is mainly because the focus in this, uh, you know, uh, study of personality is uh, on the complexity of the individual. So he caters to the whole complex, uh, you know, uh, stature of uh, human personality. And uh, he says that uh, when you are trying to assess the personality of a person, uh, it is the whole behavior of that person that is important. So. If you are talking about judging or assessing the personality of a person from one segmental behavioral, you know, episode, that is not sufficient. So he says, अगर किसी का किसी एक behavior से आपने उसकी personality judge करना है, वो inadequate है. उसके पूरे behavioral component को आपको ध्यान में रखकर personality assessment करना जरूरी है. So you cannot be, you know, assessing personality or understanding personality in isolation from the rest of the whole functioning person. So how he or she is as a functioning person, that is important. The second thing is that he has brought in field orientation to the study of personality and uh, that means that he gives due importance to the environmental context in which that behavior is happening. <coughs> so before you analyze or you try and understand uh, the person or his or her personality, he says that an adequate account of the individual's environment is uh, important. And this is what he calls a very different term that he uses for these is called regnant processes. Regnant, R-E-G-N-A-N-T. Uh, another important, uh, you know, uh, thing in his theory is like, which is quite akin to Freud. He gives due importance to the past or to the history uh, in uh, an individual's uh, personality. And he says that whatever you are at the present, it is because of your past or your history. And uh, he talks about infantile, uh, you know, uh, <coughs> incidences in carving out or childhood is important or critical determinant of adult behavior, like Freud. Uh, but then he also gives considerable importance to unconscious motivation, which is basically displayed, uh, you know, in. Uh, some form of deep, free, uh, at times verbal reports of the individual, or also at times including imaginative production. So, आपके जो unconscious motivations हैं, आपके desires हैं, वो आपकी personality में क्या implication रखती है? He talks about that also. And as I mentioned, he has given importance to motivation in his theory. And uh, he says that uh, another important thing that he talks about is the physiological component underlying all the behavioral component. So he says that everything, you know, uh, he gives a consistent emphasis upon the coexisting and functionally linked physiological processes that accompany all the psychological processes from which you can interpret or understand the personality of the person. <coughs> Now, uh, if I try to, you know, define um, this or give you the definition of uh, Murray for personality, uh, though many definitions had been proposed, but there are certain very peculiar components of his definitions which will make his stand clear to you. Uh, the first thing he says while defining personality, the first thing he says is, ye thoda lije, an individual's personality is an abstraction. Formulated by the theorist. Individual's personality is an abstraction formulated by a theorist and not merely. It is an abstraction.
action formulated by a terrorist and not merely a description of the individual's behavior. Should I repeat? An individual's personality is an abstraction formulated by a theorist and not merely a description of the individual's behavior. So here he takes a very clear cut stand that if you are saying that he is introvert or extrovert or his personality is like this, this is what he is making or assessing or assessing his viewpoint, which might not be the real personality of the person. Okay? So it is an abstraction of the theorist rather than just the individual's behavior. The second thing he says is that individual's personality refers to a series of events it refers to a series of events that span the entire lifespan. Series of events that ideally span the person's lifetime. So the history of the personality is the personality. Series of events that span the entire lifetime of the person. So the history of personality is the personality. That's the quote that he gives. The third thing he says is, definition of personality should reflect the enduring and the recurring elements of behavior. The enduring and the recurring elements of behavior as well as the noble and the unique, the recurring and enduring elements of behavior, as well as the noble and the unique. Okay? So, when you personality, ki baat kar rahe hai, to jo meri personality mein stable, predictable features hai, wo bhi meri personality ka hissa hai, aur jo kuch kuch naya dynamics add hota rehta hai, to bilkul unpredictably unique है मेरे बारे में वो भी मेरी personality का हिस्सा है ठीक है now the next is the personality is the organizing or governing agent of the individual it is the organizing and governing agent of the individual and its function is to organize or sorry is to integrate and its function it is the organizing and or governing agent of the individual and its function is to integrate the conflicts and constraints of the individual, the conflict and constraints of the individual to which he or she is exposed to satisfy the individual's needs and to make plans the individual's needs and to make plans for attainment of future goals. When this he is making a you know, a comment on the functional side of personality. What is the personality? If you want to study the personality, then why? It will be a functional component. So basically, it is a function of the personality to organize or to, you know, govern you as an individual. So basically, your needs, your conflicts, you need to channelize your conflicts, you need to channelize your conflicts, you need to streamline your needs, you need to vent out your needs. और आपके फ्यूचर गोल्स के लिए कुछ ना कुछ अटेंडमेंट में फैसिलिटेट करना ये बेसिक रोल है पर्सनालिटी का। The fifth point he makes is that personality is located in the brain. No brain, no personality. So by this comment he is talking about the underlying physiological processes. All the physiological processes underlying the psychological process. Now, if you see these points.
points, it will be clear that this definition of personality, you know, uh, is uh, talking about the history of the dancer. It is talking about the organizing function of personality. It caters to the recurrent and also the novel features of an individual's behavior. To the abstract and the conceptual nature of personality, it is something that can only be inferred, you know, abstract hai, which has some meaning in the hai aapko. And it also talks about the physiological processes that underlie the psychological component of your behavior or your personality. Okay? Now, further, Mare says, Thoda li lambi theri hai, so thoda isko samajhne ke liye barrier se chalenge, lekin aati hai ek dhani. Mene last year, easy hai, mene last year, because of time constraint, bachchok pe chhod diya ki ye kar lenge, aur kaiyo ne shad nahi kiya, aur wo aage nahi kiya. Isi liye is baad mene pehle khudu kha lenge, mene pehle kara. Okay. okay, now uh, he further says that uh, what is the source of data available to a researcher to do personality assessment. Like for Freud, uh, it was his clinical you know, observations, that was the source on which he had put forth his theory. So similarly, he says that if you have a major source of data, or basic data that you have, and if you remember, we have Eric from में भी ऐसे ही चीज की बात की थी जब हमने socialization और उसकी बात की थी subject object and subject uh, subject relationships की assimilation और socialization की बात की थी from की theory में ठीक है कि आपका uh, जब personality assess करना है तो आप assess कर सकते हैं कि मेरा दूसरे लोगों के साथ कैसा व्यवहार है subject subject relationships के through और subject object जो भी फिजिकल एनवायरनमेंट है उसके साथ मेरा कैसा व्यवहार है उसके थ्रू आप मेरी पर्सनालिटी टेस्ट कर सकते हैं तो इन लाइन में दैट ऑलमोस्ट सिमिलर थिंग ही सेज दैट द बेसिक डेटा ऑफ द साइकोलॉजिस्ट आर प्रोसीडिंग्स ही कॉल्स देम एज प्रोसीडिंग्स द बेसिक सोर्स ऑफ डेटा इज द आर द प्रोसीडिंग्स नाउ प्रोसीडिंग्स आर सब्जेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट इंटरेक्शंस और सब्जेक्ट सब्जेक्ट इंटरेक्शंस इन्होंने इकट्ठा कर दिया दोनों चीज को subject object interactions or subject subject interactions of sufficient duration to include ये सब ना two markers आते हैं ऐसे ठीक है तो ये definitions ध्यान रखिएगा which are subject subject interactions or subject object interactions of sufficient duration to include the significant elements of any given behavioral sequence to include the significant element of any given behavioral sequence. So these are the basic units of uh, you know uh, personality assessment. Now proceedings, he further says, can be classified in terms of whether they are internal. Proceedings can be classified in terms of whether they are internal. In bracket you can write daydreaming, problem solving, or planning in solitude. सॉलिट्यूड अकेले में जो आप प्लानिंग करते हैं वो आपके अंदर है ना सब दे आर इंटरनल प्रोसीडिंग्स और दे कैन बी एक्सटर्नल लाइक इंटरैक्टिंग विद पर्सनस और ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन द एनवायरनमेंट External proceedings can further be categorized or further have two aspects. External proceedings have two aspects. A subjective experiential aspect and an objective behavioral aspect. Experiential aspect and an objective behavioral aspect. Like for example, if 
somebody, uh, you are having a conversation with someone and the other person says something to you and if you are narrating this to somebody else, third person, तो उसमें हम अपना वो लगाते हैं, मुझे लगा उसने ऐसा कहा, ये जो लगा है, ये subjective experiential aspect है और actually में क्या कहा, वो आपका objective behavioral aspect है, ठीक है? तो जब हम कहते हैं मेरे को लगा मैंने सोचा कि ये हमारा सब्जेक्टिव एक्सपीरियंस क्लास है तो बेसिकली वो कहते हैं कि प्रोसीडिंग्स जो हैं वो छोटी ड्यूरेशन के लेकिन सफिशिएंट ड्यूरेशन के आपकी जो सब्जेक्ट सब्जेक्ट या सब्जेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट इंटरेक्शंस हैं वो हैं वो आपकी अपने अंदर भी हो सकती हैं अपने साथ की इंटरेक्शंस और एनवायरनमेंट के किसी सब्जेक्ट या एनवायरनमेंट के ऑब्जेक्ट के प्रति भी आपकी इंटरेक्शंस हो सकती हैं from which you can make a personality assessment. Now he says further that for many purposes, the representation of behavior, for many purposes, the representation of behavior in terms of proceedings is perfectly adequate. In the representation of behavior in terms of proceedings is perfectly accurate. However, However, under some circumstances, it is necessary to include in some circumstances, in some circumstances it is necessary to include in a single unit or formulation It is necessary to include in a single unit or formulation behavior taking place over a longer period of time. <coughs> place over a longer period of time. This longer functional unit, this longer functional unit of behavior is referred to as another term I am giving you now serial serial serials होते हैं TV में और उनका एक episode होता है ठीक है तो अगर समझने के लिए तो proceedings है वो एक episode है वो एक functional आपका segment of behavior है और अक्सर हम एक उसके ऊपर ही अपना assessment बना लेते हैं कि ये बंदा ऐसा है ठीक है लेकिन अक्सर वो inadequate भी तुम्हें होता है ये भी have to take into consideration a longer unit of behavior और this longer functional unit of behavior is what is called a serial I am giving you the definition of a serial a serial is a directionally organized it is a directionally organized serial is a directionally organized intermittent Directionally organized intermittent succession of proceedings. <coughs> Directionally organized intermittent succession of proceedings. For example, a friendship, a marriage, maybe a career. All these are serious. Longer duration here. आप लोग में से कितने जो आप फ्रेंड्स हो, कितने हो जो यहाँ कर दोस्ती हुई है, पहले से नहीं जानते? सारी, सारी, नहीं, जो भी घनिष्ठ में सिर्फ आप साथ बैठे हो, हाँ? है ना हमारी क्लास में ऐसे लोग, जो शायद अब मेरे अच्छे फ्रेंड्स हैं, लेकिन उनको शायद मैं यहीं आकर मिली। If you go back to the first day you met, and you went back home, making certain formulations about how that person is तो पहले दिन के interactions थी उसमें और आज जो आप उनको जानते हैं उसमें फर्क है बिल्कुल अलग लगता है कि वो कोई और इंसान था शायद same भी हो similar हो लेकिन different है है ना तो जो पहले दिन आपने interaction की वो आपका proceeding था ठीक है आपने hello की उसने वापस माय का जवाब दिया नहीं दिया 
सो उसने बहुत साल बाद मुझे बोला कि मुझे उसने बहुत बुरा लगा तो मुझे तुमने आमची ड्रेस किया मतलब फिर मैं बड़ी लगती हूँ टाइप से अभी आप अगर देखें और इफ यू नो मी देन यू रियलाइज कि आंटी मेरे प्यार से बोला पीपल हु माई एक्शनेटली वॉन्ट टू एड्रेस मे बी आई कॉल देम लाइक दैट बट देन वन सीरियल वन टू सीडिंग पे आप इंटरप्रेट नहीं कर सकते किसी है कॉन्सिक्वेंसिस और वो सारी चीज़ें अभी इट विल बी वेरी सरप्राइजिंग फॉर यू ये शायद मैं बार बार एग्जाम्पल दूंगी इस फ्रेंडशिप का Uh, हमने मास्टर्स कर लिया <coughs> फिर हमने यूजीसी इकट्ठे निकाला यूजीसी ऐसा इकट्ठे निकाला आई विट सो मच फेस मैं आने आज तक अपना यूज कर रिजल्ट नहीं देखा शी टोल मी तो पास हो गया आई बिलीव था मैं पास हो गया <laughs> वो देखने गई उसने मेरा भी देखा शी से पास हो गए दोनों पास हो गए दोनों फर्स्ट अटैम्प निकल गया ठीक है बाद में चिट्ठी आ गई नो डाउट अथेंटिकेट हो गया लेकिन वट एवर एंड देन शी वॉन्टेड टू टेक अप सिविल आई नेवर इंटेंडेड टू बी दोनों इकट्ठे पढ़ती हैं तो अच्छे से सब कर लेती है नो डाउट शी वॉज ब्राइटर देन मी एंड उसके बाद संभाव वी पार्टेड एंड पार्टेड सडनली और उसके बाद हम कितने साल हो गए हमने शक्ल नहीं देखी वी नेवर केप्ट अ ट्रैक ऑफ फ्यूचर इतने कहाँ गए अब बहुत साल बाद हमारे बैच ने ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ एनिवर्सरी अपनी की मास्टर्स की तो वहाँ पर वी मेट ईच अदर इट वॉज डिस्टेंट नो डाउट वेरी फॉर्मल वेरी डिस्टेंट uh and we parted because it, it somehow happened that i landed up with a bad uh, you know accident and i was hospitalized i was in a not in a good state and